All right, now that we are a good portion through our main assessment of the car wash bay, we've gone through the blaster arch, gone through the midder curtain, we've gone through the gyro wrap, we've looked at each zone, zone one, two, and three for each item. We've found some items that we wanted to make repair. Now that we're at this point and we've inspected the material of the Neotex in the gyro and on the midder curtain, we want to turn on the InstaClean panel and we're going to actually initiate a wash. Now, we still have the reclaim system shut off, so no water is going to come out, and we still have that dryer disconnect shut off, so the dryers aren't going to come on. What we're going to be looking for is we're going to actually look and see how the brushes plume out and make sure that as they're spinning, make sure we don't have a bent shaft, and we're going to look at the curtain going back and forth, and we're going to give a good listen to see if we, if we can pick up on any noises that might sound strange, and uh, we're going to give them a good look at while they're actually running and operating. So let's turn on the InstaClean panel, pull out the emergency stop button, turn on the main disconnect, and now we're going to go initiate that treadle. Now you're going to be very careful as you come into the wash bay, but you can see by looking at the gyros, the gyros have extended, they're both in the middle of the wash bay. If you look at the plume, you can see how the top part of the brush is actually longer, and that part is actually contour the size of the vehicle, and it goes down and gets a little bit smaller. If you look at the bottom portion of the, of the gyro brush, you can see that that cloth is, looks a lot more dense. There's a lot more cloth down there. And again, the main purpose of that portion of the brush is to keep the car out in a way during the washing process. So we're looking at both the brushes right now. They both appear to be full, no need of text missing. Take a look at the, the shaft that comes out of the motor and gearbox combination. Does it look like it's got a wobble to it? They both appear to be running straight and true. So the gyros themselves look really good. Now that we've initiated a wash process without water, we're going to give a listen to this emitter curtain. And what I want to know is. Am I picking up any strange sounds, any creaking noises, any grinding noises? Creaking and grinding is not good in the car wash. So let's give a listen. No? Sounds good. Also, while the front, while the middle curtain is going back and forth towards the entrance and exit, let's take a look at those baskets and look at the at the the two the split collars that we talked about earlier and make sure that each basket is swinging back and forth really good. Okay, now that we've gone up to the midder curtain and we've given a good listen to see if we hear any noises coming from up above in that zone one area, we're going to want to actually take a look at those split collars that we talked about earlier. Make sure that they look like they're in good and tight, that, they're, that the baskets are swinging towards the entrance and exit nice and freely. And we're going to look at those tie bars there in the center and look at the outbound tie bars and make sure everything is moving nice and evenly. And again, if you hear a noise, let's try to identify what it is and let's shut down the wash and let's get a hold of that service provider. Now you're going to notice when the wash sequence starts, the brushes are in an outbound position. When the tire treadle is hit, your gyro brushes will come in and they're going to be waiting and ready for the car to be coming into, into them. So this is their position during the car wash. At rest, they're going to be out and out from the driver's side into the passenger side. 